Hello my darlings, I hope you're all well and are having a fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick recap of Zizi's eviction interview. So, if you don't know already, Zizi and Marisha were both evicted from the Big Brother house. They are no longer housemates in the house. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. So, so Zizi was evicted from the house and to be fair, she looked very happy to have gone, but she also looked disappointed and she came across very, 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 very nervous. You could see she was trying to keep the energy up, but she was, to me, she looked nervous anyway. So she came out and she had a real massive applause, to be honest with you, and she was just excited. I get the sense that she was just kind of done with it. That is the sense that I get from her because her last 24 hours in the house after being nominated, her face just looked like she was over it. She didn't really want to participate in the games anymore and she was on the back foot rather than on the front foot. But anyway, she sat down with AJ and Will and they were like, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? You've got a really good reception. And she was just like, oh my God, there's so many things going on right now. It's just crazy. There's so many things going on in the house. You just never know how you're going to be perceived. You know, I'm glad to be here. I've had an amazing time. Again, general consensus of what all of the housemates have said. And ultimately, she just didn't think that she would get this far. So they said, why do you think you're sitting here out of all of the other housemates? And she said, I don't know, <laughs> as they all do. It's as if to say, I feel like the only person that has said they know why they're, why they're sitting there is Levi and Lauren, because they had striking reasons to have been evicted, so to speak, from the house. Anyway, she said she doesn't know, but she did say, I'm quite a polarising character. And to be honest with you, I didn't think I would get this far. She's kind of been through all of the height, highest heights <laughs> within the house, so to speak. She was nominated quite a few times. She was also nominated in the first instance and placed in the ring of fire. So she said that she's just, it's been a roller coaster from the get go and she's just happy to have made it thus far. And to be quite fair, I'm happy. I was rooting for Zizi. If you didn't know this, <laughs> I was rooting for Zizi and I'm really happy that she got this far in the competition for the kind of character that she is because she's quite prickly let's face it she's quite as she said she's a polarizing character you ever love her or you you know so I'm really happy that she got this far and we got to see a different side of her anyway so AJ said Zizi you got nominated by three people which nomination surprised you the most and ultimately, she said she wasn't really surprised by any of the nominations. She always knew the boys were going to stick together. She knew Louis would vote for her because he has every time, let's face it. But just as long as it wasn't David, Fern or Marisha that voted for her, she was fine because those three were her people. And then the topic of Louis came up, <laughs> to which I have to chuckle because her and him really did have... They had quite a time in that house. And she said, her and Louis are from different generations. They can say things and it's okay. Or rather, he's going to speak his mind. She's going to speak her mind. If he says something that rubs her up the wrong way, she's going to pull him up about it and vice versa. So it seems like they both like to have the last word. And speaking of having the last word, she said that she tried to check herself before she came into the house <laughs> and just kind of commit to not being that person that always has to have the last word. She says sometimes it worked in the house and sometimes it didn't. And I feel like we've seen <laughs> that tug of war going on, you know, Orange Gate. Anyway, and AJ said, you say you're from different generations, but ultimately you both say what you think and they mentioned that he called her the future of broadcasting which I think was really nice and Zizi was like do you know what he would actually say those things to my face 
And she said she's always preferred that people respect her rather than like her. So she really, you know, respected that comment. And then she went on to say that with Louis, it's just different ages, different culture, different time, different generation. But ultimately, he's Louis Walsh. He's accomplished a lot. He is an amazing man. He's had a great career. And, you know, she respects that. And I feel like despite the fact that she did have her disagreements with him, she still held a level of respect for for him. So I know, I know. And she says that is Louis said he's going to give her his number and he asked her to come to Dublin to hang out with him. So there we go. So as much as he was quite harsh with her, I feel like it was a bit of a love-hate thing in the end. And I do love the way they bantered during that the game where they were both the evil rulers of the house they bantered together really really well and it was funny anyway they then moved on to orange gate and <laughs> they were like one word orange gate and she was just like i'm not one for presentation like food is just meant to be eaten so i don't really care what it looks like it's just going into one place so <laughs> you know that's it and um, another thing they said, and this made me laugh, they said, if your mouth doesn't say it, your face will. Like, you had some real facial expressions throughout this whole time. And then that she said that everybody says that about her. But ultimately, she said sometimes it would get really awkward in the house. Like a verbal tussle. I love that word. A verbal tussle. A verbal tussle would be taking place. And all you could do was just like... <laughs> I couldn't imagine her but anyway they did a rundown of all the face facial expressions that she was making and they asked what she liked about David because she said that she became really 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 close to him in the house and I feel like you could see that relationship building and she said that she just loves him he's his authentic self and they just gelled really well and that he always kept it real you know, with her, and I guess also kind of corrected her sometimes needed to be corrected. And she also said he made her feel safe, which I thought was really, really nice. They then asked her how she felt about being judged by Sharon and how that whole situation turned around. And Zizi said, ultimately, it was really, really nice. And it touched her, the fact that she was able to <laughs> read her to the tea and the fact that she said that she reminded her of Kelly her daughter it really touched her and she took the time to get to know her and and it was surreal and her wardrobe was elite and I feel like to be honest Sharon was Sharon was wearing nothing but Chanel the whole time like the cardigans the corsages she was doing a lot she was doing a lot anyway um so initially when Zizi went into the house she said that she hoped to show people a bit more of her softer side so I think Will asked do you think you achieved being able to show that to the public and she did say that she feels like she achieved it also if she feels like something is wrong she's going to say it's wrong like there's just no stopping her and I feel like we definitely get that <laughs> she also said it's been one of the best experiences ever she's so humbled and grateful to have been on the show and finally they asked who does she want to win and she said David all the way he's just been him and he's been so real the whole time and that was that short but sweet interview thank you so much for watching my darlings as always click the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one